Hey guys, welcome to another video, welcome to my channel. In the video of today, we are going to talk about things that the company or other people do not tell you about being an au pair. So, let's get started. So, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the curfew. Um, so... There are two types of curfew, one if you have the car and the other one is normal regular curfew which is the, which is the time that you get home. Um, if you go out, most of the families will have like a specific hour to let you know that you should come home. So some families just tell you, hey, hey midnight is your, like, your curfew or 8 o'clock, like 8 p.m., 9 p.m., whatever. So there are some other families that do not really have a curfew. Um, my host family in particular do not have like a like a, a specific hour, so they just tell me that I should be at the house like eight hours prior, like to start the work. So I, I would be like well rested, well taken care of the kids, which makes sense. But besides that, there's the car curfew. There are some of my friends that have this issue that it's like when you are using the car you have to come back to the house at 9pm or 10pm it doesn't matter what your curfew is maybe you don't have a curfew but the car has one it's just maybe it's not they don't trust you maybe it's just the way they see things uh, you should totally ask that in the interviews because it really can change a lot of things um, and the car specifically because you really need it. I mean, unless you live in one of the one of the northeast states like New Jersey, New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and all those states right there, public transportation is not really good. And I. Honestly, I live like in North Carolina, and public transportation, it's a no. <laughs> like my host parents told me not not to even think about it. Like do not go there. So the car is a must. You should really ask your host family if you can use the car while you're off, or if you can access to it whenever you want. Um, most au pairs do not really have one by themselves. There are some lucky au pairs that have a car only for them and then there's people like me <laughs> that just have like to share the car with the family and sometimes it's an issue like sometimes you want to go out at 2 p.m. because you're not working but the whole family is not in the house so you don't have a car so you have to take a lift or a uber all the way to the place that you have to go another things that you should have like in mind is the food because I swear to God that getting used to this, to this, like the food here, it's killing me. <laughs> like back home, I used to have this completely different diet. I used to eat meat every day. Um, I used to have like a lot of things in my diet. My fridge is not usually that full, that stocked, but you have to deal with it. Like maybe in your family, they just eat fast food and you're not used to that and I have a lot of friends that just the families eat like crappy crappy food like everything is frozen everything is like fast food so you should really ask about how they eat I mean it's completely awful to go and say hey how do you eat but I mean and even if you don't ask it you should have it you should have in mind that things are gonna change a lot when you get there People told me about this, and I really didn't think it was going to be this way, but it is. Um, and it's not to upset you or to scare you off the being an out pair, but these things happen, and you should really just think about it. I mean, I love being an out pair. I love my job. I love my host family, but still, there are these things that just there are a lot to take in. One of the other problems is like that you live where you work. 
I know that maybe you have read or you have heard a lot of people telling you this that it's really hard and you should really think about it but that's why I say it again you should really think about it um, on my day off, like on my mornings off I wake up because I hear I listen to the kids like screaming or just mom I want breakfast mom I want this or that or whatever you listen to them because they're really really loud and they wake you up so even if you have the morning off or have the day off or the whole day off it's most likely that you're going to wake up really early um, other things that you need to think about is that kids in the States are way different that of course when you're from but way more different at least in my country things are completely different um, and I've heard a lot of stories from another up here from another friends that are from many different countries around everywhere in the world and things are really different so kids here can come off as spoiled um, that happens and you will not change it like the kids are raised that way and even though you hate it or even though you want to change it it's like that unless you have little kids young kids that's a good thing because you can actually like start changing some kind of behavior that they have but if they're older kids just forget it it's set and the parents maybe do not want to change it so you have to cope with whatever the kids throw at you. If it's something big, you should go and say, hey, sit, like, sit with them and just tell them, hey, uh, I had a problem with one of the kids. And they usually will help you. So don't worry about that. You should really communicate with your family. Like, the biggest thing that you have to have in mind is that communication is key for everything. Well, then there are some other stuff that you should really ask your host families, like summer, summer season, if the kids have summer camp or if they do something during summer because trust me, summer is... it's awful like, you, you think you can do this but when it's here you wanna kill them like, you have every day every day the whole week with the kids and sometimes in summer usually our parents just work the 45 hours or even more than that so that will take us to the extra hours extra pain that it's another topic so if you're working extra hours you should talk to the whole family and just tell them hey I'm working more hours than I should or if you have become if you have like both have an agreement about you're working more and they pay you more then it's completely fine if that's what you want to do I mean it's illegal but whatever I know that there are some girls that for more money they work extra and it's completely up to you another thing that you should ask and that no one really tells you about this because I completely forgot about this particular thing before I came to the States and there was this one girl that just told me that I should worry about it it's like phone and the plans because your phone may not work in the states or maybe it works but you have to change the plan and it's more money so some families would pay for you like my whole family pays for my phone we, they added me to the family plan but there are some other families that do not really pay for that so you will have to pay that so you maybe it's really useful to ask that on the interviews and there's one left one less thing that you need to worry about before you come to states then there's the topic of making friends a lot of people said that making American friends is really hard it actually is it's not that hard but just keep in mind that you're going to be closer to immigrants like you like you will be friends with people from everywhere in the world but the United States I met some American friends I mean I have some American friends but it's because of my out pair friends like they met they met them before I arrived in the States and once I came here they introduced me 
So I do not have like tips on how to make American friends. So about making American friends, it's like what I said before and I think you can do like volunteer close to your house which I think will be really helpful and besides that you could just go out more and go to uh, college classes instead of taking the weekend courses to the credits or any other activity that just involves you like in your community I have one of my friends that's actually doing um, soccer close to her house and she made a lot of American friends so I believe like doing an activity, volunteering uh, close to your, to your house or in your state will really help you make American friends but besides that I don't really have any tips, many experience about it Another topic is like payday. So some families decide to pay you uh, transferring the money to your account or um, just give you a check or others will rather just give you cash. Every family is a world itself so you should just ask in an interview how the payday is going to be like because every family just works differently or you can ask that once you get to the states but make sure like once you get to the states, there's something that cultural care did not really tell you. It's that you have to uh, do your social security number, which is uh, some paperwork that you have to uh, get done the first or second week of uh, you arriving in the states. But once you get done your social security number, you can get your driver's license, you can open your bank account, you can do a lot, a lot of things. Um, so. My second week of being in the States, I got my social security number and I opened my bank account and my family, my whole family in particular, just decided that they're going to transfer the money to my account every Wednesday. So every Wednesday, I know it's my payday. Um, before that, I think I was working. The first week, they just brought me a check, but I don't know if it's that good to write checks. Because honestly, they could forget about it and, and I think it will be completely awkward if you go and tell them Hey, you forgot to pay me last week So, just keep that in mind Like, just write it down in one of the questions that you're gonna ask on an interview That how's the payday gonna be like If they're going to um, make you a check Or they're going to open a bank account with you and just transfer the money If they are going to open a bank account in the same bank as there then you should go just like you just ask them what which one is the bank they're using so before you go to the states you know what is the things that you have to um that you have to uh, show the bank if not you can do it right here it's the same um another thing is like taxes which is a complicated topic I haven't paid my taxes yet. I have to pay them next year. I think I have to pay them or uh, April or March 2019, just about when I am about to leave the States. Um, so the taxes, the more days you work in the States during a calendar year, I mean from January to December, the more you have to pay um, for the taxes. So usually it's like, 500, 600 maybe, I don't really remember but it was around those numbers if you are in the states like the whole year round and it's going to be way more expensive than the girls or the au pairs either like boys or girls that arrived in the states mid year like August, October you have to pay way less if you arrive those like those months so just you just have to keep everything in mind, whatever you want to do. I think those are all the things that I want to talk in this video right now. Those are all the things that when I got to States, I didn't know it was going to be that hard. So it, it's based on my personal experience and some of my friends' experience. Um, so that's basically it. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next one.